Hello creative birdies, how are you guys doing today or tonight or this evening, whatever it is over there and <laughs> whatever time it is you're watching. I'm feeling a whole lot better. I think I've only coughed like, I don't know, a handful of times today. My voice is still not back to to regular just yet, but it's good enough. Okay, um, if you're new to this channel, hi, my name is Sigrid. I go by the name of Secret. I've been going by the name of Secret for over 25 years, and I am 43. Um, <clears throat> but my my real name, original name, and I'm saying this just because I've been asked so many times, I want to clear it up. My original name is Sigrid. Okay, um, so what we're doing in this video is a lot of chatting and it's going to be a long video and what I'm doing is finally finishing up my Patreon's postcards. These postcards are up for sale and the link is right there above in the I card. It's a little circle up there. It's a circle, it's white and, and it has an I and that's why we call it the I card. <coughs> also the link is down below. They are six dollars still. They were supposed to be ten dollars, but they're still six dollars, and I'm fine with that. I've been sick, and so I'm late to my twenty dollar Patreon class, and I'm late to my my six dollar postcards. But everybody understands that I'm late, and they knew why I was late and why I'm late. So I need to finish these suckers up. So we're gonna do a lot of chatting. Those of you who already know my channel know that I chat a lot. <coughs> I drink loads of water and I'm va back to vaping again. And I have not, I have adult teenagers in the other room. Um, I think they're watching, oh, what is that one movie? Go the Goofy movie. <laughs> so she's, my daughter's 18 and Today was her last day for the week of college. She d she gets off on Friday and Saturday and Sunday. And so she decided to have <coughs> her friend over. And they're over there watching the Goofy movie and screaming. So you'll hear them in the background. This is something that I would do while I'm, I'm enjoying myself. Watching, entertaining myself somehow. So... I'm sharing with you guys what I would be doing and I just decided to turn on the camera as I always do and that's how this channel has progressed. Huh. So, with that said, you guys have heard me a million times. If you're my older subscribers, you've heard me say this a million times. I chat a lot. I'm in no hurry. I'm not just a channel putting out content <coughs> in speed. Although last week I did one. Us. <laughs> last week I did a speed through. But it was just like insignificant. Um, making those. Uh, using the pill machine. So it really wasn't that big of a deal. I'm just grabbing colors as I always do. Putting them down. <coughs> My main objective is to get these cards out and to use up old paint and to get my background all painted up because I love painted up backgrounds. And I have my little bottles sticking out there. You know what I should do is turn on this little candle I found. <coughs> Somebody threw out a box and I found this candle in that box. He was broken from the knees. That's probably where they why they threw him out. Right down here. You can still see he's kind of broken. What I ended up doing is melting the wax together and he fits he's perfectly fine now. Just gonna leave him chilling right here for now. Um, 
looks dangerous. It is dangerous, but I want them on, so I'm turning them on. I have my crystals and my big, huge shell that Janet sent me. <coughs> And I'm really appreciative to that. And very appreciative to you, Janet. Very, very, very appreciative. Thank you so very much. She knows what I'm talking about. So let's just chill, vape. You guys should grab something. Grab something to eat or create with me. And I do have some shout-outs from from last week and the week before, so we'll eventually get to the shout outs. But what I'm going to do is set myself up. <coughs> with these shout outs, and get them ready for whenever I'm ready to shout, give a shout out. So how the shout outs work is you leave a comment down below underneath this video. And the next time I do a new video, I'll give you guys a shout out. Let me put this on mute. Real protection. And this shout out is for my January edition postcards. Oh, there's a lot of people. Oh, okay. We'll eventually get to that. So let's finish up here. Let's get you guys in. And I don't know if I showed you. It's a gnome. Isn't he cute? He's adorable. <laughs> Hopefully next week I am having my daughter's friend, business partner, my daughter's business partner, she might come in and we might record some henna. And I'll introduce you guys to her. She does a wonderful job. Okay, so I don't want to use red, but what I do want is some drips of red right here, little dots like that. <laughs> just because this page seemed to call for it, so I'm going to put dots. I'll keep my eye out on the candle, no worries guys. So this here is a folk, very folkish angel girl <clears throat> and I think I want to grab yellow a little bit of orange Some white. Oh, did I bring the camera down or not? I totally forgot. Right now, <clears throat> in a little bit, we'll we'll fix up her dress, but that's where she's at. And we'll put in the face some more. And we'll get some hair going. She could have any color hair, really. We'll, 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 we will go in with this brown, but doesn't mean that she'll stay with brown. <clears throat> Where's my seashell? I like to work with my shell. I have a mess on my desk because I do have my um, Patreon class going. That class has started, it's just not uploaded, and it's not finished. Oh well, I can't find my shell at this time, so I'm going to use, excuse me, I'm going to use um, the end of a can, and as a matter of fact, 
my $20 class that I have up, or going up, has something to do with um, a soda can. <coughs> totally forgot what I was doing, and I ended up dipping into the red. So what I'm going to do is go ahead and drop the red somewhere else on the page, and I'm dropping it in here. These, to me, are a mystical flower that has something to do with fairies and bugs. Um, kind of something that you would see in a fairy tale. <clears throat> and they represent to me like emeralds. That's where these are going to be heading. <coughs> I should show you guys what I did with my vape in a second. Put that down. I still have red on my brush, so I'm going to take advantage of that red and toss it in everywhere and anywhere I can. So why not put some here? Make like little holly berries, holly berries. <coughs> and now that I started, now I might as well finish putting these in. Holly berries. Okay, that's good enough. And this is way, the way I work. <clears throat> I happen to have red, so I'm going to put, uh, put the red onto this mushroom. I'm going to take advantage of this, and I know I still have color on that brush, and I'm okay with that. And it actually worked out perfectly. This here is my mushroom. How many of you guys have watched Hands Made on Netflix? If you haven't watched it, oh boy, oh boy, you're missing out, I promise. I'm not a TV person, but that show, Hands Made, is amazing. And I'm also reading a book called um, Indigenous American History. That book is amazing as well. And since I have my brown out, well, I still have kind of red on my <coughs> on my brush. I'm going to continue with the red for right now. Here's my other mushrooms. There's so many steps that I take in creating my art, although it's going away. They're postcards and they're only six dollars. <coughs> There's so much more detail that will come through onto all of these cards. Uh, if you're not familiar with my work, you can look around in my videos and you'll see my work. Okay, we don't have that much red in here. Put this aside. Here I have sketched out just some random flowers. They don't resemble an exact flower from nature. They just resemble a flower that I have in my imagination. <laughs> Now 
And what I end up doing is just making these shapes. And then eventually they turn into flowers for me. thick. So what I do when I mess up is I just grab some water and I use it as an eraser. <coughs> and I usually have, oh here it is, same napkin as last month. Really it is. I'm not going to toss it until it's ready to fall apart. And even then, I may not toss it. I might even use it in my art. I know I changed out brushes. I tend to do that too. <clears throat> so far, that's what we have. pop back in here. I think her wings are almost perfect. I think I want the wings to go up like that. Yeah, I like that better. Cute. Didn't I say I was going to use some brown? Yeah, I'm not cleaning my brush off. She's a cutie. Oh, did I dip my sweater? This is my actual sweater that I use. I don't want to get it painted. Oh, let's see. Okay, so, so far we have that. Not done at all. That's the way I work. I feel like I'm repeating myself constantly. I don't think there's anything on this one yet, so put that aside. There's a few. Oh, this one here. I do have some work sketched out. I can see it in my mind. <clears throat> I'm familiar with the thought I have, and I sketched it out a little bit. And that was good enough for me. Although, I can pull out other colors. I seem to be wanting to work with what I have out. This one I have little flowers. Popping out the sides like this. Then I think I have Some more flowers popping out through here. That got a little too thick for me. Give me one second. Still too wet. It's okay. I have a little bird 
Where'd he go? He's perching somewhere here. And his head is over here. And then he's got these little feathers over here. flowers in. Just so that I have a beginning of my imagination put in there. And I know I have a red heart, but that's okay. It's what's on my brush is what's coming down. Waste nothing. So that's what we have so far. This one here is a moon. I want to grab s some brown in a second. There we go. And on this moon, I have an imaginary either cat, owl, or a girl. And she's sitting right here. And I'm just going to grab whatever color I have right there. It looks to me that it might become a bird, but I don't know yet. I still have paint here, so I'm going to go ahead and do that. Oh, when I said do that, it's just random as I do. <coughs> this one here is another flower. the beginning but I still have paint. The dilemma of the paint on the brush continues. <laughs> There's another mushroom. This ring you guys see has been in my family for, I want to say 50 years or more, maybe even more. It, was my mo it is my mother's ring and she gave it to me. And then on my other hand, this, this one here is my mom's wedding ring. And then my son has my father's wedding ring. I lent it to him. <clears throat> I still have paint on my brush, but it's become muddy, so I'm taking it off. No worries for me. I need to make sure I stay on camera. Here's the little door that'll become more 
when I'm ready for it to become more. But I would like to put some dots just because. Now you guys don't be surprised if you hear kids coming out of my coming out here that you can hear screaming because I feel that they are tempted to come out screaming because they're silly girls. So, so far we have that. Ooh, this one here. I'm loving this one here. Pretty much think this one's done. As far as that goes, I do want to put the red in. And then I think these little sides will be yellow, but I need to get rid of what I have on my brush. Matter of fact, I need to grab some more brown. Poopy brown. My love for poopy brown. Yes, there's still red on my brush. I'm okay with that. Cute. These are going to have fat bottoms, just like me. Fat bottom. So there's that one. Not done yet. We're just at the beginning. And this one here is no longer up for sale. It's already sold. So that one will go to the side. That was the first one to go and it it didn't go for six dollars. No ma'am. I don't want that brown. So here's my kit. My kilt. I have that paint on my hand. So, I'm going to put it somewhere. There's good enough. Feels good not to be choking. It's gonna be a really handsome cat. With fat cheeks. Oh, you guys can't see, sorry. There's, you know, it's so much easier for me to I think give it a butt. It needs to come out right there. It's so much easier for me to get these done if I can just bring it to me. But at the same time I want to do content so I am just explaining that to you guys. I want to share and so I get into what I'm doing so I tend to pull my artwork towards me so that I can see what I'm doing and then what I'm doing is right now is just getting what's on the tip of my brush and just rubbing it in so 
It would actually work out even better if I had a tiny little, um, what's it called, it? easel and face it like that, but then the camera can't see. Oh, I'm dipping in over here. That's okay, it just adds character to what I'm doing. Let me pull out just a tad bit. That way I won't get out of frame so easily. There's the back leg. There we go. There's the cat in its process. And this cool guy here. The flamingo. He's basically done, really. Just want to put in a little bit of red. And start achieving his feathers. I'm loving the way he's looking. I just need a little more. Like a very little. I want his head to be rosier than anything. And then bringing it down. I still want that teal to come through, but I want like a rosy shadow. That's where he's at right now. Mm. Okay, now we start our circle back again. And I want to do some yellow. Let me practice here before I go in. There we go. <coughs> interpretation of the Sacred Heart, but those are not coming out the way I need them to come out, so give me one second to find the right brush.
Oh, I forgot about all that brown that got on the edge. Let's take that off. You know, um, there will probably be many parts to this. I'm not going to be done anytime soon. I can already feel it. Plus my camera fills up very quickly. Here, this is what I'm going to do. I'm just going to create them this way. I know I'm going into the brown and I'm okay with that again. This one's coming out nice. I love them all. I really do. I need to move that brown. It's dipping into everything. But before I do that, I need to put more yellow in here. As a matter of fact, let's put yellow down here. Just because we can. It's it's my design, my thoughts coming down. And remember this black was the, um, the mistake I made when I tried to stamp the Frida Kahlo down. It made this black and I'm glad it did because look what we got out of it. A cool piece. And I'm just going to do these random yellow marks. And then we're going to move on to the next. But before I do that, let's grab that brown. Just move it onto my hand. But I still have yellow. So, let's play with this yellow. There we go. Mushroom. I'm going to leave all of this texture in there. Matter of fact. I can make more texture in here. And that's what I'm going to do. Let it dry like that. So 
So, so far we have that not done, not even close to being done. Oh, I still have brown. And I still have mushrooms. They won't stay brown. I'm sure I'm going to end up turning the bottom stems of the mushroom um, a different color, most likely, because that's probably where I f I'm feeling my thoughts and my imagination heading is for these to turn different colors. But since the paint is there, I'm going to use it because I've mentioned it a million times. I know what it is to not have the paint. I'm just going to end up with longer hair than I thought. <clears throat> what do we have? What else do we have here? Who else needs brown? His eyes are coming in. Do you see that? Oh, the camera was blurring. Sorry. Yeah. But his eyes are coming in. Might as well start throwing in the nose, in the mouth. Yeah, when the camera goes blurry, I can't, I can't see it. I really cannot. I'm not looking up. I'm paying attention down here. So apologize for that. But it is what it is. What can I do? I don't have a cameraman. And I don't want a cameraman. I like the freedom I have. I need to look at the anatomy of a cat in order to get this a little bit better as far as the middle. I'm thinking I just need like a shadow in between. But I do need to take a look at that. And I think over here is a hip. So I'm going to place that in just so that I can start getting that in. But I do need to look at another, a cat and actual cat. Oh, we're doing good. The camera's almost going to die, but what's going to happen here is I'm going to, I'm going to continue. Well, actually, no, the camera's going to actually die. So, I don't know what part we are on, but before we go, I'd like to give a shout out to Nessa, Myra, Esquivel, Lodi Faith, Tuppy, Penny, Trosdale, and Mary, Mary Kuhl, I always get that name wrong, and who else, as a matter of fact, this is January's edition of Postcards, so we are on part 5, Six. This is part seven. They're all going to be all together in a playlist called Creating Postcards. 
So if you want to find them all, they're all there. Um, an another shout out to And that's it. That's it for now. I don't see any more names. I can check real quick. Penny, Tronsdale, I think I already said that. Hexadon. Oh, she says, I, I don't need to say, well, I just like to hear what she says. I like reading it. It says, happy to hear that it makes you feel good because I always feel good when I watch your videos. Sometimes I start one of them just to listen to you while I'm making and I don't know the rest. Oh, so sweet. Heck Sedan. Hexadonsty. And Dakota Dash Dashea. Daco Dakota. Shay, Dakota Shay. Oh, cute. Al John and Eric Lips. Okay, those are all my shout outs for today. I'm going to let this dry. I'll probably grab all of these colors that I have here and Matter of fact, I'll do it while the camera dies. If the camera dies while I'm doing this, so I just want to say thank you to you all. And uh, if you want to see what the cards look like once they're dry, make sure you come back to part 7 or 8. I'm not even sure now. And I'll show you the cards, where they're at, where we left off. But for right now, what I'm going to do before the camera dies is grab all of this paint and start our February postcards. That's how I do it. These are just from um, Janet that sent over Happy Mail and th this is the packaging from that Happy Mail. And that's the beginning. We're starting our mess. And look at this guy. His his head is gone and 